back. Now, Sarah, you say, why are you in a cave? If you haven't been watching the stream, of course, that's what you say. Why are you in a cave? Why is there a piece of bread framed on the wall with a sign on it that says, you tried? What is this? Welp. Let me answer a few of those questions in order. I'm in a cave because I have restarted my world. And I now live, t at least temporarily, in this lovely dirt hut with this chicken farm and all these trees, all these melons in this lovely pasture. Where are all my, where are my ladies? Where are my dryads? Okay, they're out there. I have lots of little friends out there helping my plants grow. Oh, swamp flower. Okay. Uh, that's right, I transplanted that. And what I am working on, if you'll come with me up here. See, I'm never going to have to worry about starving to death as long as I don't get tired of bread. I'm going to come up here where I am sketching out the outline of a house on this little uh, Badlands biome hill here. There's a witch circle over there that I have already de-witched and diluted. I'm pretty much back, if you've been watching the stream, um, I have been streaming my efforts to get caught back up to more or less where I was in my first world. Notice I said first world and not previous world. Welp. There was actually another world with the same seed that I started after the uh, leaf incident. And I got a ways on that. And I actually lived in another pasture about, let's see, 800 meters on the other side of that village. Which I mistook this for initially because I saw the red rock there. Turned out it's a completely different biome. But anyway, I had gotten a smeltery up, and notice my fancy cutlass here. I'd gotten a smeltery up, and I was just about to start building on top of a nice tall series of little mountain peaks. And then another update broke shit. <laughs> it removed some metallurgy stuff and left weird funky tiles, excuse me, in their place, and Basically, if any entity so much as breathed on them funny, it would crash the game. So, rather than try to fix it manually or whatever, I decided, screw it, I'm not that far in. I will just restart with the same seed again. And, uh, funny story, the first time I tried to restart, I actually used the same seed I used for my original world, the one you've been watching all this time. And it plopped me in a cherry grove biome, which I thought was cool until I realized that, that cherry grove biome was on a tiny island. I did not feel like trying to play survival island. So, screw that noise. Different seed gave me a lovely world here. Lots of villages. Lots of mumbling testificates. And you notice there's a chocobo flying around over there. In fact... One of these days, I need to uh, get a chocobo pen going here. Let's see. Do I have any eggy wigs in here yet? No, I do not. But, that's where we are. That's that's the state of Resonant Rise right now. And right now, the pack is in, I believe it's 2.4.9a, and it is now in pre-release. No longer in beta. This is exciting. So, we're about to have a full-blown pack here. These ladies here... These are dryads, and what they do is, they're harmless, and basically, they're the reason why all my trees grow so fast. They run around and they, the trees love them. I got me a silverwood that I uh, planted from a sapling that I found on another silverwood tree. There was actually a uh, magic grove biome that I was going to build in, and I started to kind of scout out a location, and then I got kind of skittish because it was awfully close to some tainted land and I would pr have preferred to not keep the tainted chunks loaded. Oh, hey, hun. She's uh, tending to my watermelons there. Because I didn't really want to deal with taint. So I just uh, skedaddled on to the other side of the world. And here we are. So about the only thing that I don't have here that I did have 
in my first world as a nether portal. So, what I'm going to need to do is hop on down. Now, um, the story of the bread on the wall. If you've been watching the stream, you know what happened with the bread. I believe it's witchery. I could be wrong. That adds just random abandoned houses and stuff in the world. And you go inside them and there's a loot chest that will sometimes have useful tools like uh, iron shovels and maybe some ingots. It might have some witchery herbs. Or, as was the case with this one, it might have a single loaf of bread. So once I get my house up, I'm going to make one of those fancy bibliocraft display cases. I'm going to put this bread in it. And finally, as for what this chisel is. Oh, this chisel. Let me tell you about this chisel. If you are a, an, an aesthetic builder, the chisel mod is going to be an absolute dream for you. This is not a T-Con chisel. This is a chisel chisel. It's um, a stick and a piece of iron, and it claims to have a durability, but I've chiseled a whole hell of a lot of stuff and it's never gone down. Okay, I don't think... Nope, hardened clay does nothing. But I know for a fact cobble does. Now check this out. You put some blocks in there that's compatible with. You get cobblestone bricks, detailed cobblestone bricks, small cobblestone bricks, large cobblestone tiles, small tiles, French tiles, more French tiles, Creeper cobblestone tiles, damaged cobblestone tiles, huge cobblestone tiles. Cobble with creeper panel, da 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 da, etc. etc. And you just uh, click on whatever it is that you want, and the chisel will do its thing. And make these fancy bricks. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it gets better. Uh, let's head down to the smeltery, where I have a stash of cool bricks. Check on my plants here. Uh, witchery stuff, some cotton going. Okay. And then I have a um, an IC2 sugarcane farm here. Let me just uh, pull these off. And I'll come back and put some more crop sticks down later. This is just a temporary mine set up here. I'm actually probably going to move my smeltery once I get the house. But... I have here some fantasy blocks. You make fantasy blocks by putting a gold nugget in the center and surrounding it with stone. But fantasy blocks. Fantasy bricks. Fantasy brick is what it starts out as. And you can do all this fancy stuff. Uh, the problem is, if you only want to do one of them, you want to put one at a time in there, because it will do however many you put in there. See, this will make a cool little pedestal for, you know, some kind of decorative thing. And I think I, I had some lava bricks down here somewhere. I think... Oh, there they are. The only complaint I have about this mod... Lava stone. Hehe. <laughs> is almost the same thing as Fancy Stone, the way you create it, except you use a bucket of lava. The only complaint I have about the lava stone is it's not a light source. And I'm going to do, um, let's see, this black lava stone. Here we go. It's not a light source, unfortunately, but it looks really cool, and it throws off sparks. So, you know, there you go. There's also, I believe, carpenter's blocks in this pack. Carp. Yeah. And carpenter's blocks can do angles. Yeah, that's, that's the word. Apparently they can be um, tinkered with. And I have not <coughs> really played with carpenter's blocks at all yet. But apparently, um, you can do some pretty cool stuff with them. And then you can uh, make carpet blocks with chisel, and then, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, make fancy pattern carpets. Yeah, I, I just want to rub my face all over this mod. I swear it's awesome. So anyway, I've got a smeltery up. I have, actually, I've, I'm tearing out some of this black granite here. 
Ah, uh, we don't need to go all the way down to the mine. That's just a hole in the ground for now. But I'm tearing out some of that black granite. I'm going to use that for countertops. And speaking of Bibliocraft, we have the uh, newest version of Bibliocraft, which includes not only tablecloths, i.e. you throw a vanilla carpet at a table and it turns into a tablecloth, it has chairs, it has food plates, so you can display your food. It has music disc racks. I'm going to go to bed. It has all manner of cool stuff. It has a cookie jar, which emits a redstone signal when it's opened. So, uh, that's pretty cool. But for right now, I'm going to... That's Oh, jeez, really, dude? Just a minute... So anyway, really the only reason I have not yet started building my house is I haven't decided what to build it out of. Um, the only, uh, one other minor quibble I have with Chisel is that it doesn't work with the underground biomes blocks. If it did, and if the lava blocks gave off light, that would be so perfect. Okay, give me another chicken, come on. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going... I should be able to mine obsidian with... Oh, yeah, calamari. Now, when you kill squid, you get calamari. Not like Magic Farm, exactly. You don't cook it. You, um... You combine it with the wooden bowl and it will give you some calamari rings. I've got some mistcraft stuff that I ripped off from a village here. Uh, I need three more obsidian. So I'm going to head on down here. I guess we are going to go to the mine. I was going to put my nether portal in... Actually, I am going to put my nether portal in the witch circle. I'm still going to do that. I had thought about putting my twilight portal there, but... Um, there is a fountain in the center of the witch circle that is 3x3. Three three. A twilight portal is 2x2. Two two. That would not have fit. It would have looked really annoying. So, okay, I hear lava somewhere. So I have all the stalactites and stalagmites. Vanilla stone is also a lot more plentiful than it used to be. That is black granite. Okay. I hear lava, but I don't see it. I think it may be down this way. Lots of rubies. Okay, hey, here's part of the mine shaft I haven't been in. Found a mine shaft down here. I actually explored it in the stream, and it didn't find a loot chest, but apparently I haven't been through the whole thing. Ah, is that one? Nope, that's where I put my crafting table. Never mind. Okay, well, we'll just um, poke around here and I hear a slime. A green one. Oh, hello. Yikes, I'm not going to stand there. Alright, i got to find me some lava. And if uh, I don't find some down here, I know where there is some above ground. In fact, you know what? No, I do not want to go that way. I'm not going that way. No, sir, no, ma'am. I'm just going to head my butt back. Oh, boy. Skelly in crazy blue armor. Looks like Osmium. Angry zombie. And I've got to make me a decent set of armor. Um... I've been mostly, I think I finally made an iron set the other day. I think I've mostly been using crap that the mobs have been dropping. I'm just gonna swim on up here. Ugh. No, let me up, let me up. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to um, head down to my uh, lava pool. My forest fire starting lava pool. I have some food on me. I do. I've got a ton of steak on me. And I'm going to have to make a flint and steel. 
Let's see, do I have any flint on my person? I do not. I have plenty of iron. Alright. I saw some gravel while I was down here, so I'm just gonna... Actually, I... No, I'm not. I have flints upstairs. I do not need to dig for gravel like a noob. <laughs> so, up we go. And I've been saying I'm gonna do it, and I've been saying I'm gonna do it. I am gonna do it. I'm going to make a water ladder to get to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back here. To get to and from my mine. This time. I'm gonna do it. I mean it this time. Now, give me that. Give me a flint and steel. Okay. So. We're really gonna do this. So I'm probably gonna need to make a quarry. Not so much for the mining, but just so it can dig out the shaft that I'm gonna need for the water ladder while I do more important stuff. Like fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a... How do I not have water? That's right, I used it all up on the chicken farm. Alright, one bucket ought to do it. Hello, have you laid eggs? You have laid an egg. Okay. Please let there be a chicken in this one. Nope. Not yet. Okay, that's alright. Just head on down. I've got to get me a chocobo pen. Yes, hello chocobo! Okay, but this is just a lovely little area. I'm gonna have a deck up there that will partially jut out over the edge of the hill. And it's going to look over that little lake there. It's going to be cool. Okay. Oh, I haven't got an oculus yet, I don't think. I did find it. There we go. I did find an essence pool. I did get a... Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a bucket of this to throw in the smeltery while I'm here. In fact, I'm going to, uh, I just need three at this point, so I'm going to, um, go ahead and block that off, and block that off. There we go. I'd kind of like to keep the rest of that lava. Okay. I think steel should do it. If it can break ardite and cobalt, it should break obsidian. And... Pop! Gabbro. Yeah, Yeah, and Chisel does some pretty amazing things with iron and gold blocks, too. And... Pop. Found most of this obsidian in a blacksmith chest. <laughs> Lucky find. The only... kind of broke my heart, though. On the previous world, there was a... Um, village, same village near spawn, had a Thomcraft tower. And in that Thomcraft tower's chest, there was a Thomonomicon. Oh yeah! I had my very own Thomonomicon all ready to go. I didn't have to make a bookshelf. And then I, you know, restarted my world and it was gone. But that's okay. All right. Yep, I'm still going to put the nether portal in the witch circle. That's a good place for it, I think. We may have the occasional... What the hell? Oh, okay. That's a zombie wearing glowstone armor, carrying part of his dead buddy. <coughs> you notice I am waving a cutlass around here. 
Sarah, where the hell did you get that? Is that a Tinker's thing? Why, yes it is. It's actually a secret recipe. Well, poo. But you just, uh, you have to find the full guard pattern in a, uh, in a village, in a Tinker's house. And then, you just, uh, do like you're gonna make a broadsword. Except make, instead of the, uh, wide guard, you put on the full guard. And I'm going to recycle these. And I may come back and do some fancy blocks later. But these fit with the uh, with the theme. Okay, I'm gonna need a nerd pole a little bit. All right. There we go. And how how do I not have enough? Ow! Oh crap! That's how I don't have it. Oh man! I'm a dumb butt. Okay. It's all right. Oh, that means it's not gonna fit. All right, well, crap. Okay, well, I will figure out um, balls to this. I will deal with that later. No, I won't. I can't leave this. Actually, what I may need to do, let's see, and enhanced, I don't think so, and I can't spell. Enhanced portals, okay. Uh, quartz, okay, that's decorative stuff, portal frame part, dialing device, because um, again, they've changed better portals, or enhanced portals. So, at this point, I do not know how it is that I make an enhanced portal. And a brush, glasses, wrench. Okay, well, screw it. I'll just, uh, I think there's an ender tot over there. Or an ender bro. Welp. Okay, I don't have to take the whole thing down. Okay, what I might have to do to make this fit and not look stupid is go out well crap oh, spider ow where are you there you go all right well you know what screw it I can still make this look okay. There is still a way I can do it. I'm just going to have to break obsidian until I die. Humny <sighs> humny humny hum. You know, once I figure out the enhanced portal stuff, I can always come back and do it the right size. All right. Oh, I didn't need to pull that one up. Okay, well, it is going to look funny, but what can you do? Oh, okay. Nerd pole time. Uh, fun fact, you can also chisel dirt. Oh, yes. 
Oh, that's a full-grown Enderman. Okay. Give me that. Ka-chink. All right. Welp. Next time, we are going to go and poke around in the nether. Again. Thank you for watching, folks. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>